Good evening or good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Thank you all for joining me. I just want to do another little short video here, and some of the other questions that I was receiving and some of the other questions that I've been, I guess, asked during gameplay was how to deliver orders and stuff when you have your warehouses. So, I wanted to just do a little small brief video about that. So if you come over here to our little, it's our inventory management pig area, I guess, or logistics area. This is where you do vehicle loadout and all that good stuff. You can check your currency report here. This is how it shows you uh, where you make all your money, all that good stuff. As you can see, I made like, or I lost 2,300 because I built a barge and some munitions. But if you come over here to this map tab, you will see all the islands that you currently have under your control. This is your location of your carrier. The green lo uh, locations are your barges. All that good stuff. Now, if you want your barges to operate out of a single warehouse, what you're going to do is you're going to basically hover over your barge, click on it, drag and drop to the warehouse. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to assign that barge over to the warehouse. From there, the warehouse, if you want your stuff delivered to your aircraft carrier, you have to drag and drop from your warehouse to your aircraft carrier. Everything else, you're just going to drag and drop to that warehouse. What that's doing is basically assigning all of your islands to send their inventory to that specific warehouse. You can also set it so that if you wanted to, you could have this munitions plant to deliver directly to the carrier. But if you want to do that, you're going to have to have one of these barges to basically say, hey, I want to go to this small munitions plant and then go directly to the carrier instead of going to the warehouse. So that's kind of how you do that. Now, this is the same for any island that you take. So currently, if you see here, I have surface chassis, small munitions plant, and I have a barge plant here so I can create more barges. Each individual island is going to have its own specific thing. So if I click on, like, let's say, for example, the small munitions plant, you'll see that they can make uh, 30 millimeter ammo and flares. Now, later on, you have to unlock more small munitions plants by taking them over, and you can get one to two blueprints depending on the shield level of the island. And by that, I mean if you come over here to the vehicle control page, Let's just say I want to look at uh, this island directly northeast of us. You see how there's two shields? Or if you come over here, you see these are four shields. Now these shields are showing the difficulty of how hard it is to take the island. In my personal experience, usually one star or one shield islands are very easy. They usually have minimal ground forces, usually around six to nine ground forces that you have to take out. Two shield islands are usually either a few ground forces with a boat like a destroyer or a corvette or something like that and they could also possibly have an airfield so if we zoom in here uh, we can't see it because we're not close to it but now some of them will have airfields now three three shields usually you're going to have a larger combination so they might have an airfield some destroyers and some ground forces Whereas, last but not least, if you go to these four-star islands, as you can see, they're much bigger in size. But they're usually going to have airfields, destroyers, and a really good amount of ground forces. Which, later on, I will be releasing a video on how to do that. Or, excuse me, uh, that I will have a video out on me taking a four-star island so you can kind of see what that's like. But, that is just a brief overview on uh, how to do your... And I guess order logistics if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe so that way you can stay tuned for more future content on carrier command 2 and other games that I play in the future I want to thank you all for watching I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and see you next time bye bye